Hi there, uh, Don Jarrett, President of Dorje Incorporated, uh, here at our experimental space in Round Lake Beach, Illinois. Uh, behind me is uh, our experimental environmental enclosure. Uh, it serves two purposes. We're experimenting with uh, traditional building forms and, and uh, modern building materials, as well as with alternative uh, carbonless uh, renewable heating sources. Um, this building is modeled after a uh, yurt, uh, the uh, Tibetan and Mongolian uh, circular dwellings, uh, from which we, I think we get the Hogans of the Navajo in, the, in, the, in Arizona and New Mexico. Um, but uh, as a circular building, the space inside, as you'll see in a little bit, is, is actually quite uh, welcoming. There's good flow in there. Um, also, it gives us a wonderful environmental enclosure to experiment with heating, um, and uh, we'll see that in a minute. This is our first day with snowfall, so we are under our first snow load, so we're going to measure how deep the snow is on top of it. I think we're looking at about uh, two, two and three quarter inches of snow. Yeah, I see two and three quarters of inches of snow fell overnight, and uh, surprisingly it stuck, but it's very heavy, sticky snow. It even stuck to the solar panels uh, we have out here. This is just a small set um, that we uh, initially started with. We found we needed more juice, so we're, we're building that on Tuesday. So uh, we'll come on inside. Oh, you need that. Yeah. Well, this is the uh, this is the inside of uh, what we've affectionately named the Shabadoo Shack. Shabadoo is just one of those words we made up around here when we don't know something so nifty we don't have a word for it. You see up the typical yurt center hole. Uh, we have a uh, the uh, top up there that uh, was manufactured from very commonly available materials. Uh, some wood, and actually those pieces up there are uh, basement, uh, basement uh, window uh, covering units that have been uh, shelved together with that uh, wooden center. Um, as you see our tracking materials, our, our temperature tracking, we have an indoor and outdoor uh, temperature, and so far we've been able to keep this building with very little heating at all. Um, at least 20 degrees above the ambient temperature. Um, it's been really, it's really warm and comfortable in this space. Um, right now we are setting the baseline for heating. Uh, we're using a, an oil heater uh, that is at its lowest setting usually. Uh, actually right now it's at the middle setting at 900 watts. And it has, uh, it has maintained this space. So we know what kind of energy we need to heat this space, and then we will design a miniaturized renewable system to fit it. <clears throat> this is our boost heater. Uh, when we want it to, uh, on cold days, it's been down to like 17 degrees. So we've had an internal temperature that was about 40, and we wanted to see how quickly we could get it back up to a livable temperature of about 65 degrees, which we, which is our target temperature for, uh, for the place. Over here we have our telltale bottle of water. Should we end up with a freeze overnight, it'll, and uh, it'll rat out <laughs> any kind of temperature dive. And uh, that's it, showing you around the place. But it, it is a, a very nice warm space. But when you're accustomed to being outside, it can be actually quite warm.